How's it going everyone? It's Gavin from Balls to You and this is my gobsmacked clutch. Uh, the pairing was a pastel banana clown male to a female clown. Um, as, as I said in my last video, I could have made banana clowns a few years back. However, I waited and I waited till I saw the right male. I picked that male up and when I saw the male, I thought there was something different. Maybe it was a super pastel. Uh, banana clown uh, but then obviously when I saw normals in the clutch I knew he, I knew he wasn't a super pastel however what I have come to see and what I can see is actually the dad was a firefly banana clown so we have a mixture of uh, the fire gene in this clutch as well as pastel and clown and banana so where do we start? So let's start with obviously the, the normal looking clowns, um, if you can call them that. Um, now I've never hatched fire clowns, so I've been speaking with Justin as he's the king of clowns. Um, and uh, I, I'm putting this one down as a normal clown. Uh, it looks very much like the mom, um, really nice, everything uh, I'll, I'll double check the sex. Um, everything that's not banana is obviously female. Um, it was said that the male may be, there was something else going on with the male that he may be a female maker. Um, he's, he doesn't seem to be that way, but guess what? He's carrying an extra gene, so I am really not arguing with the, with the fact that he's a male maker. So here we have just a real nice, stunning, I'm gonna label these as just normal clowns just double check the sex so there we have a female never get bored of clowns and their mom basically she, you know I hatched her as a hatchling she was amazing she she she's never gone off food she laid this is a first clutch and I am over the moon so and I think I've already said that but anyway let's look at the other one So I have sent these pictures over to Justin, I'm waiting for Justin to get back to me. Um, and again we'll see, this one could be a fire clown, uh, just because of how it, it is It is lighter than this one. It's a bit difficult to see on camera, but it is, trust me guys. Um, maybe after a few meals, after it's shed in a few meals, we may see a difference. However, the head pattern seems to be the same, so I really don't know. So. We'll see what Justin says when he gets back to me. Female. Absolutely stunning. Uh, we'll stick to the non-bananas. So we'll stick to the females. So this one here is a pastel, but uh, sorry, a pastel clone, pastel banana, pastel clone, uh, and I'll show you the difference between the firefly clones and the pastel clones in a moment. Um, but yeah, really pleased with how they've come out. And the good thing with having the banana in the mix, um, we've actually got five non-bananas and four bananas. Uh, so that gives us a good ratio of females. So it's not a bad thing to have a female, um, to have a banana uh, in your pairings if you're after females or guaranteed females. So this is the first Firefly clown. And as you can see, the head is a lot more whiter. The, the silver uh, blushing down the back is really clean. The pattern is really clean as well, and the head is is, is really well, again really clean. If I show you the pastel, don't get me wrong, it's a nice pastel. But again, in the Firefly, you can see it's more of a, a, a lighter yellow than the normal pastel. Again, the back dorsal uh, is a bit more. Uh, noisy let's say 
uh, whereas the Firefly is a lot more cleaner. And again, the head, you can see on the pastel, which is this one here, is a bit more noisier and a bit more yellow around the eyes. Can you see that? So the head, obviously, after this sheds out, this, the pastel one here, will be a bit more of a yellow head than the Firefly, but you can certainly see the difference. So here's one fire, Firefly, and this one is my favourite Firefly, I think I'm going to keep this one. Look at that one guys, just absolutely amazing. All I keep thinking, putting spot nose, leopard, anything really on top of this, on this girl. And I think she's going to absolutely steal the show in the collection. Absolutely powerhouse to have. So really pleased with her. And let's jump onto the bananas. Now, again, like I said, there was four bananas. Um, I'm not 100% certain, but me and Justin have spoken about these uh, normal looking bananas and we think that they are fire banana clones. Um, we'll, again, we'll know more once they've got a bit more of a feed in them and they've shed out. It's very difficult to tell, but you've got real high blushing of orange, um, a real sort of orangey head. I don't know if you guys can see that or if the camera's going to pick it up. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, once these probably get about 200, 300 grams, they will absolutely glow. Not a hundred percent certain, but this one could be a female. If it is, guess what? It's stopping here. see. Here is the other one. As you can see the dorsal stripe is, is a bit more brighter and wider compared to the normal clones or what I'm labelling as normal clones but we'll see once I've shed. But yeah look at the yellows on that guys. Who'd have thought 15, 20 years ago that we'd be making ball pythons that look like this. Absolutely astounding. So that one's definitely a male. So anything male in this clutch, uh, well, anything other than the first one of these that I showed and the last Firefly clown I'm potentially keeping. So if you guys, anyone's interested, please get in contact. I've got a feeling the minute these go up, they will go. Stunning. So the next one we're going to have a look at is this little guy here. Now again, I'll have to wait until it sees till it, till it sheds out. But this, um, I'm looking and thinking, possibly, maybe, this is a pastel banana clone. And I'll show you the difference and why I think it is again. It's very difficult when you've got banana on top compared to when you've got, when you haven't got banana on top. And that's why I think when I brought the mail, when it was sold to me, it was sold as a pastel banana clown and not an actual firefly banana clown because it is difficult to tell sometimes when you've got that banana gene on top. Look at that, guys. How cute. Mail. And 
let's have a look at that I know this is definitely a Firefly Banana clone. Look how clean the back is. Look how clean the yellows are. And look how white that head is. So if I take this one, I'll show you. See the difference in the head, guys? So this one I believe is just a pastel banana clown, a stunning example, and this one here is the Firefly banana clown. And again, you can just see that this one is a tad more lighter than this one, um, but I do feel once this one, obviously fire does get better with age, so I've got a feeling that this one will, once it's shedding out a few feeds, you'll certainly see that it is definitely a Firefly banana clown. So there we go. So there we have it guys. This so far is by far the most exciting clutch that I've hatched this year so far. Um, still got loads of, of stuff I'm really excited about. Um, but yeah, absolutely gobsmacked. That's all I can say. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do an update on these stunners once they've shed out and we'll uh, take another look at them and see exactly what's what so yeah really pleased guys okay thanks for all your support remember guys if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button also if you can do me a favor hit that like button if you want uh, or hit the, the 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 dislike either way thanks for the view <laughs> whoever my haters are thanks for the views it's amazing thank you um but yeah you guys are absolutely amazing love you all take care and i'll speak to you guys soon